Hello everyone and welcome to this quick video. Today I'm going to be showing you with Premiere UXB how to do scene edit detection. If you're an experienced Premiere user, you know there's this cool feature called scene edit detection where you can apply a cut or a marker at each detected cut point. Essentially it's looking for changes in the image that indicate a scene has changed and in today we're going to be using four lines of code to create this automation using Premiere UXP. So with this, you're going to have the option to apply cuts as well as create markers using a simple change of string. If we load this first example and do scene edit detection on this clip here, you can see it's going to analyze and then apply markers on each of the spots that it found what it thinks to be a scene change. And then if we change it from markers to cuts, obviously this is going to actually cut where it detects those scenes, analyze it, and boom, instantly apply those cuts. So with four simple lines of code, we're gonna do this today. Make sure you check out all the links in the description down below. You can follow me on GitHub, check out AE Scripts where I post paid and free plugins that are gonna be super helpful for you. And let's just jump straight into it. So code wise, we're gonna be referencing mainly sequence utils in the UXP guide. This is a section with only one static method called perform scene edit detection on selection. What it's gonna take is a string that's gonna be the clip operation or what we're doing to the clips, as well as a track item selection. Maybe I missed it, but I've been unable to find this uh, sort of clip uh, operation anywhere on here. So what I did was a bit of digging and it so happens that in the old scripting, we also had a perform scene edit detection on selection method. And this actually has our two strings that we're gonna need. This allows us to create markers at the cut points or apply cuts. So this pretty much functions almost exactly the same as the other one. I never made a tutorial on this, but now let's show you in UXP. So I just have a bare bones project here. Um, everything is kind of set up as the last tutorial which I recorded for this, which was export sequence. Let's update it to scene edit detection. And that should be fine. I've already changed the button name to scene detection. Again, we're just using the basic setup. So uh, in order to get the clip operation string, we already know what those two are. We can actually probably just write them down here. So we have create markers or apply cuts. And then we need a track item selection. Now a track item selection, when you click on it, it takes you to this class called track item selection. You can create an empty selection, add an item or remove an item from it. I actually played around with this for quite some time and had a lot of issues getting it to work. Maybe it's not fully supported. Maybe I didn't understand. Regardless, there's a simple way to do it. And by the way, if you want to see sort of my process of how I learn these skills to teach you guys in tutorials, Make sure you become a member because with every tutorial that I post, I also include a sort of behind the scenes and step by step of how I got to learn it. And it even has some fun little snippets and things that you can learn from it like this. Sequence utils. And it looks like we're going to get some help today. Um, what do you have to say, Lexi? But anyway, uh, despite the fact that I had issues with this track item selection class, I found a forum post by searching track item selection, and it so happened that uh, thanks to Kathy Dong here, we can use the sequence.get selection to get a, a bunch of them. So if we go into sequence, you can see we have something called get selection. And, and what this gives us is the current selection group of the sequence. This is exactly what we need, and it's just one line of code. So in order to get this sequence.get selection, we first need to get our project, our Premiere project. So we'll say const project is equal to await. Always need to await the Premiere Pro object dot project. And of course, we're going to get active project. Then of course, to get the selection of a sequence, we need our active sequence. So we'll say const sequence is equal to await. We're going to reference our project and say get active sequence. Now we can get our selection. So we'll say const selection. We're going to await our sequence. 
And remember, it's called just get selection with no variables needed. Now, if you want, um, especially if you're in the process of getting familiar and fluent in UXP like myself, you can always console log your variables just to make sure you're getting valid information. Um, so we'll go ahead and load this plugin. Make sure we have debugging enabled and cleared up here. And we'll go ahead and hit scene detection. Actually, let me undo and then scene detection. So you can see we have our project object, which is our untitled.project, our active sequence, this multi-genre show snippet I have, and a track item selection. So everything's looking good. We just have that one line of code now to perform the actual thing. So let's go ahead and put it side by side here. And how do we perform this? All we need to do is say, um, we can get a boolean if we want, like for the success, if it's true, it succeeded in doing the scene edit detection and false if it was a failure. So we can put that into a variable and then, you know, console log that afterwards, which will tell us whether or not it was a success. Um, but to perform this, we're going to need to await as usual, Premiere Pro, and we need to grab this sequence utils class. So we'll say Premiere Pro dot sequence utils, basically referencing a library of in this case, a single utility function for a sequence. And we'll say perform scene edit detection on selection. And then we have our two arguments that we discussed. The first is the clip operation. So let's just say to start, we want to create markers. So we'll create a string that says create markers. And then our track item selection, just as a reminder, track items are clips or um, items on the actual video or audio track. So we'll say selection. Now we'll save it, clear our debug, we'll reload the plugin. And when we run it, if you did everything successfully, you should see the analyzing clips and then boom, our markers. So we obviously created our markers. If we wanted to, we could change this to apply cuts, reload, run. And just like that, instantaneously scene detected and uh, split up and cut and added markers. So you can literally run through all of your sequences and run this. Let's say you had a hundred sequences lined up. You could loop through your sequences, scene edit detect each and every one of them and have those ready to go for another operation or the next step in your editing process. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope it was a nice, quick one, simple tutorial. Um, again, make sure you check out the links in the description. Become a member if you wanna see behind the scenes for how I make these tutorials, and we'll see you next time.